Hey all, welcome to the video session of MahindraGuru.com where in today we are going to discuss one of the important topic of the computer syllabus for the competitive examination that is IP address and its classes. Now, this is an important topic. What is an IP address? The IP format that we are going to discuss is IPv4 or IP version 4. Now, the very first question that we have is what is an IP address? Now, what is an IP address? What is an internet protocol address? What is it required for? What is the use of an IP address? Now, IP address is actually a unique address that is designated or that is given to a system that is located or that is there on a network. An IP address is a unique address that recognizes a system over a, a network. Let's check the definition of the IP address. An IP address is a unique address as I've told you earlier of a digital system that is connected to a network or that is there on a network. We use IP address to recognize a system uniquely. Now, an IP address is used to recognize a system uniquely. We can recognize a single system in a group of millions of computers. Now, that is all because of an IP address. Now, if we talk, talk about an, uh, an IP address, we should have an example here. Now, let's see an example of an IP address. We have 192.168.0.1. Now, this is an IP address. We have one octet, the second octet, the third and the fourth octet. An IP address is a 32 bits address format. Now, these dots in IP address are known as a period. They are actually dots that are used to separate these IDs. This is an important point that you should note that. Now, when we talk about the features of IP address, we have few features that are being listed on the screen and the first feature that we have is that an IP address is a 32 bits address format. The format that we can all see here is known as is known as dotted decimal notation. Now, an IP address is most often represented in the dotted decimal notation. And the last point that we have is no two devices can have the same IP address on a network. No two devices located on a network on a similar network can have the same IP address. Now this is an important point. Kindly note it down that no two devices on a network can have the same IP address. Moving on to the next slide, let's see what we have in the next slide. The next slide says IP address or the IP address format is, is separated by using a dot known as a period. What is it used for? It is used to separate the network and the host IDs. A period is used to separate the network and host IDs in an IPv4. The last one that we have is the IP address is classified into five different classes. We have five different classes in which the IPv4 is classified. Let's have a look on those five classes. Those five classes that we have are classified as A, B, C, D and the last one is the E1. A, B, C, D and then after we have the E1. Now, these all classes are designated with a range. Let's have a look on the range of these classes. Class A ranges from 1 to 126. In this range, we have one network ID and three host IDs. The class B ranges from 128 to 191. In this range, we have two network IDs and two host IDs. In class C, we, uh, the range is 192, 223 and in this we have three network IDs and a single host ID. The class D range is from 224 to 239 and the class E, the last one ranges from 240 to 255. Now, this is an important class, class E1. Why? Because it is reserved for experimental and future use. The range of class E is 240 two two double five now these were the range of the class a b c d and e of ipv4 the ipv4 address format the next slide says loop back if you have a look back on this uh, range 127 is missing now where is 127 
127 is used as a loop back IP. Let's have a look on the loop back IP, the default loop back IP of a system. The default loop back IP of a system is 127.0 or period 0 dot 0 dot 1. 127.0 dot 0 dot 1 is the default loop back IP of a system. Yes. Moving over to the next uh, next slide, let's see what we have in the next slide. The next slide says a question. Now, these are the questions that are very often seen in the examination. The question says, to which class does the below given IP belongs? Now, to which class does the below given IP belongs? Let's have a look on the network ID. 130, 130. Now, quick recall, where does 130 falls in? Is it in the range of A, is it in the range of B, is it in the range of C, is it in the range of D or the last one, the E1. Now, quickly try to record it. The class A ranges from 1 to 127 or 126. Yes, 126. Then after 128 to 191 class B. Now, where does this IP falls? Where, this, where, where does this ID falls rather? Hmm? Do you want to have a look? Let's have a look on the chart of that range. Okay, we have the chart here. 1 to 126, we have the class A. 128 to 191, we have the class B. Now, what was that network ID? That network ID was 130. So, where does this ID falls? Yes, it falls in the class. It falls in the class B. Class B range 128 to 191. Let's have a look on the second question. Let's see what we have in the second question. The second question says the below given IP address is correct or wrong. We have to find that whether the below given IP address is correct or wrong. Firstly, let's check the number of IDs. The number of IDs that we have here are 1, 2, 3 and 4. In no case, we can exceed the limit of 4. Yes, 1, 2, 3 the network ID, the network ID, the network ID and the host ID. It falls in the class of, yes, class C. We have one network ID, one network ID and the one network ID. In total, we have the three network IDs. Now, is this IP wrong or correct? These all IDs falls within the range of the, yes, within the range of IP, IP IDs. So, this IP is a correct one. Let's check the answer. The answer says correct and the class to which this IP belongs is class C. This question is an important one. Very often we can see this question in the examination. Now, so that was all for the IP address formatting and we assure you to provide such videos in future. Do comment us on www.mahindraguru.com and please do subscribe your YouTube channel that is www.youtube.com forward slash c forward slash Mahindra Guru videos. Your success is our success. Thank you.